Hello again. Uh, this is an introduction to conic sections, and what I basically mean by conic sections are uh, graphs that are created uh, through manipulating uh, this particular example here. And this particular example that I have is uh, two cones stacked on top of each other with the points. And um, what I can do if I, you know, slice through, and what graphs I can create. And there are four specific types of graphs that we study that we can create. And one is a parabola, which we've already done to an extent. That is a circle an ellipse, and a hyperbola. So uh, you have to use your imagination here. And it's not drawn uh, to a 3D effect because I just don't have that art uh, artistry in me, but you know, what am I going to do? So if I were to take like a, you know, uh, a sharp piece of paper and slice through, let's just say this bottom cone, and a slant, and it slices through like this, what I get, um, the shape I get when I you know, open it up, um, and you know, take, remove this part of the cone, is uh, something that looks like this, and that's a parabola, it's a quadratic equation, or I guess it can look like this too. If I um, take that same piece of paper, but I manipulate the way I slice the cone, let's just say I cut straight through, like this. Uh, if I open up the cone that I sliced, it's going to have a nice circular effect. You know, it's, I, I cut right through here, straight through, and I open it up, hey, it's a circle. That's nice. Uh, if I do the same thing, uh, cutting straight through, but I do it at a slant, and it goes through one side to the other, it doesn't form a circle. It, it forms a, a circular shape, but not a perfect circle. What that is, is an ellipse. You know, some people say that's an oval. Well, it's an ellipse. You know, it could look like this. It's like a circle, except it's um, like somebody stretched it either um, vertically or horizontally. And actually, you tend to see this in... Uh, uh, sporting events, you know, stadiums are built uh, elliptically. They're not built as circles. Like a football stadium, for instance, is generally built as an ellipse. It's quite cool. And the other type of example that I can use is taking that same piece of paper and cutting straight up and down. And if I do that, uh, what I would get as a result, if I you know open up the sections, would be something that looks like, you know, this. And that's called a hyperbole. It basically looks like, uh, you know. Uh, I don't want that to be confusing. That's the result of one. It basically looks like two parabolas. Uh, I suppose it can also look like this too, if you want to, to think about it. It doesn't have to be something where it's uh, two vertical graphs. It can be two horizontal graphs as well. And that's what we're going to explore. And we're going to start with the parabola first and move on. Um, in a circle or ellipse, I haven't decided. But the hyperbola is probably the most complex, the most difficult to understand. So we'll save that one for uh, last. Uh, but that's my little introduction to conic sections, and we're going to try to use the information of completing the square and a few other techniques to see if we can uh, you know, figure out uh, equations that deal with that. Other than that, have a good day. Goodbye.